Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the sale price color for your Shopify store. And yes, I mean the sale price, the discounted price. I will show you how to change the color for it. Because earlier, I did show how to change the badge color. This one right here, as you can see, I did show how to change the badge color. And I did mention in my next video, I will show you how to change this one right here, which is the sale price color. Because that would look really good if you did change the badge color right here, you should change the sale price color as well. And even though if you did change this, the badge color, uh, changing the sale price color will look really good because it will attract more attention to the price. So it's actually a must you should do it for your Shopify store if you do offer a sale price obviously even if you don't just offer them just <laughs> raise the price a little bit then discount it again to the price that you want to sell the product for so as I said in this video I will show you how to change the sale price color just like I promised and all the things I do mention as well as the things that you see on my channel right here as you can see I did show them in tutorials and every time I did show something the code is always available below in the description box for free and I did share a lot of tricks for example the video banner right here that you cannot add from the team customizer as well as the transparent header with the video for the banner is actually playing underneath the header which is really cool and looks more branded and professional as well as the hover effect for the menu as you can see and even the hover color for the menu as well as the text color for the drop down and even removing the little thing which is the underline that shows up once you hover over the menu in here it does show an underline I did show a video on how to remove that and not just that I mean a lot of videos even removing the card icon from your Shopify store if you do offer just one product or you do drop shipping you don't need the, uh, the card icon or you don't even need the card section the card section here for Amazon or eBay where customers can actually do the shopping process where they can add uh, multiple products to the cart and eventually at the end they will do the checkout for the whole product but if you do drop shipping and you only sell one product or two why do you need the add to cart icon it will have more problems for you than benefits obviously so if you are interested in how to change that or how to remove the cart icon from here I did show how to do that even removing the add to cart button as well a lot more actually you won't believe how many videos i made when it comes to customizing your shopify store and making it unique and branded so if you're interested in how to do that check out my channel it's completely free and as well as the code is always free and the only thing i'm asking for is just a like please just like the banner says and for the sake of this sad emoji right here and i apologize i talk too much about myself and the tricks i do on my channel i apologize let's just quit talking and let's just get to it and change the color for the discounted price right here or the sale price so let me access this product page right here or actually let me stay in here so we will do the trick and we will come back in here and the sale price should change the color and the first thing you're going to do is obviously access the shopify dashboard in here after that click on online store from the left menu then click on the three dots on left of customize right here and click on edit code it will take you to the code editor for your shopify store and the next thing you're going to do is click on assets folder right here you will see it at the bottom of the page and it will show you some uh, css files in here and there is a lot of files that says component as you can see so we need to find component dash price so just keep scrolling like this and until you see component-price.css which is this one right here I already find it so uh, component-price.css and this CSS file exists on any Shopify team and the code that will provide you would works for any Shopify team so whatever if you are using down team or sense team or refresh team or any of the free teams this will work for you just fine and the next thing you're going to do is simply click on the file right here and it will show you a lot of CSS code and uh, no worries you won't have to edit any code or anything like that I will share with you a very very short code that will do the trick so the next thing you're going to do once you access it component-price.css is simply scroll down all the way down to the bottom page and make sure you access a new line completely new line and nothing on it at the bottom of the page then the next thing you're going to do as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here and yes you don't have to pay for anything it's completely free simply click on it and it will take you to this page where you're gonna see a very short code as you can see and this little short code will do the trick so obviously the next thing you're going to do 
as select this code in here and make sure you deselect as well the bracket at the third line and right click and copy and after you did copy the code get back to the code editor right here and paste it at the bottom of the file so let me paste it in here and after that you see this uh, it says color two dots and there is hashtag and some numbers and letters and this hashtag is the hex color code so simply copy this code right here and uh, open up google search engine and simply paste in the code in the search bar right here hit enter and it will show you this widget right here so play around with the widget until you find the color that you want let me go for something like green between green and blue yeah this color right here so i will pick this color simply copy the code in here by clicking on this button right here simply copy it then get back to the code editor and replace the old one with the new one so let me paste in the new one and after that click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back to Shopify store, reload the page and see if that would change the sale price color or not. So let's just access the Shopify store and here we are. Right now we will uh, reload the page and the colors have changed. So let's just reload the page. Uh, let's just scroll down a little bit and check out the color. And it looks bad as you can see. Uh, I did pick the wrong color for it. Anyway, play around with the colors to pick the exact color that would be suited for your Shopify store. Let me access the product page in here. To see if they actually will change and here it is it did change so this is the new color for the sale price and i do recommend you to pick a strong color like red or something like that so that will be really good and it will attract the eyes directly to the price as you can see this is a bad color i did pick but this is just for demonstration right and that's how you change the sale price color just like I promised and if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button I would really appreciate it but I think my job is done for now if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me and thanks for watching and catch you on the next one